Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about virus effects and what are left behind after you've removed the virus. So basically, what I mean by that is you may have deleted the virus, but it always leaves a nasty effect behind, as in like disabled registry or disabled taskbar or something like that, but you know the system is now clean. So you need to go around and fix all those little things that is broken. So a handy little tool you can use is called Virus Effects Remover. You can actually download it from so uh, sourceforge.net um, projects and virus I think it's a virus effect REMO so I will put that link up there anyway um, on my description so you can download it okay it's only 1.6 megabytes download it it's really handy to keep on your system and handy to have um, in your arsenal so let me have a little look at the program so I've downloaded mine already and installed it it's a simple install so I'm not going to go through it just going to fire it up just to show you some of the tools you've got now normally once you've removed the virus it always does some sort of damage um, once you've removed it because they've changed registry keys and whatnot so let's start off on the main tab and as you can see it's got handy little help bubbles coming up so help you fix things and stuff like that so if you don't know what you're doing just read the bubbles take a bit of time and uh, it should help you along the way as you can see um, task manager you can actually fix the task manager registry editor uh, MS config folder options and stuff like that from this location okay and as you can see when I click on these it opens up a registry editor and stuff like that which is pretty handy all from one little because maybe your run bar has been done or something like that I don't know you just have to you know, take a look at the program itself and it's got quite a good useful tools to it. System file checker. I mean basically you can do system file checker from this location which is pretty good. Um, also uh, auto run auto run dot INF files. Now these are run from USB sticks normally or USB and basically they're portable apps say for argument's sake and they're running off of a, an INF file and as soon as you plug in the actual USB stick it will auto run and it will infect your PC straight away so you can actually disable that block all USB auto runs from this location to make sure that you don't get infected show suspicious files um, protect drive from auto runs it's got a little tab there which is pretty handy let's go on to the auto run details and as you can see you can just set all this up yourself okay you don't need to be shown how to do that. You can do that. You've got a scan here. I know this is a virus, so you can actually scan it and delete it. Okay, and then also you've got processes. You've got process details. Now, this is a great little tool as well. If you know there's a dodgy process in there that's running, put your tick in, kill the process, or right click on it, kill the process, which is really handy. Okay, you can even delete the process. So you actually kill the process and delete the process as well. So it saves you having a couple of little apps rather than you can have it all in one place. So that's really handy. You've got your services here. Also from here you can actually stop, pause and start and refresh. Okay. Uh, let's just have go back to processes there. I just wanted to show you a few other bits and pieces. I don't think he's finished event viewer and stuff like that. You've got a few of those services and then you've got block virus. So you've got enter the file or uh, virus name of the extension. So you add that, okay, or browse to that, and then remove it or we'll start restrict. That means if you read here, this is, tells you all about it here. So basically, it will tell you what it exactly exactly does. It will stop the actual virus from starting up. So when you reboot the PC, that virus will not be able to start because you're starting to you restrict it from this location, and then you can remove it, okay, or just remove it or whatever it may be. So this is really handy, handy little bit of a kit there. You got your start up again. You can right on, right click on it, add a new start entry, um, remove entry only, associated files, um, all sorts of stuff there as you can see. It's got quite a. You got your folder and file options there. Show hidden files. Show system uh, hidden files. Hide known execution uh, extensions. 
okay and now obviously you've got open uh, folder options which is again saves you going into if you're having problems elsewhere this will help you along if you've got remove uh, removal media de uh, detail change detail there's a load of stuff in here I mean uh, directory detail got clone delete file which is really handy you've got like a you can add what rise to that file um, delete the selected file delete all or remove from the list or you know there's a ton of stuff here also take control you've got um, files and folder security uh, permissions for NTFS okay so you can actually take control or remove control that will help you as well that's pretty handy got unlocker on here as well you can browse that file unlock unlock all delete uh, put your unbar as well which is uh, handy got your run little bar there which is pretty cool and um, you can run some commands from there and you've got some other options here as well which is just your normal startup option so that's the actual package there it's pretty handy I think I think he's adding to it all the time so the creator of this tool is really uh, really clever and he's done some useful stuff there he's obviously uses uh, the program quite a bit and he's also used to removing viruses because it's going to come in pretty handy okay so I hope you enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk download the program have a little play of it it's uh, pretty useful and uh, if you like my videos subscribe to my channel show your support great for all my videos got any questions leave a comment there and I'll do my best to answer them please give us a bit of time to answer them sometimes I'm busy so uh, anyway yeah thanks very much for watching bye for now